All right, this one's going to be on answering a viewer question. Uh, they wanted to learn how to install scripts that I talked about and, you know, from like get different GitHub pages and stuff like that that don't have like uh, install instructions or anything. Anyways, if you know how to use the path variable and stuff like that, you can skip this video because uh, that's what we're going to be talking about here. So first thing is you got to know what shell you're using. So you can do like echo dollar zero here. And right now I'm using a uh, bash, uh, not to be confused with what is that? Echo shell. This one just tells you your default shell. It doesn't tell you your current shell. So right now our current shell is bash here. All right. And the reason why I'm using bash is because 99% of the time when using a Linux system is going to be bash. Although there are some distributions that are switching over to Z shell nowadays by default, but uh, bash is still what you want to, you know, use um, for writing scripts and stuff like that because it's the most compatible I guess anyways uh, bash here right and now as far as um, getting your scripts on a github page and this one's like bin merger you can see here this one is just a single script um, they're not going to tell you how to install it because it's so basic uh, you know if you're into command line and stuff like that you probably already know how to do it but if you're a new user you don't know how to do this stuff and trust me I was a new user once and I didn't know how to do any of these stuff uh, if you watch my YouTube channels over the years basically I'm a new user at the time and then I you know advance over the years and now I'm kind of a decent Linux user all right but uh, in this case here for this bin merge it's only single file, so we, we don't really want to get cloned the whole thing because, you know, we don't really need these other stuff in here. We just need this one file. Bin merge here. And you can see here, this is just a script. Look at this. This is it. This is the whole program. And uh, it tells you that you do need Python 3. So uh, that thing should be installed by default on, uh, you know, uh, most Linux distribution nowadays. So, uh, what do you want to do? We have to get this script somehow, right? Uh, you can actually copy and paste this and then, you know, name it to a text file if you like. But uh, on GitHub page here, um, there's this thing called raw and you click on that and this is the blank page, right? And all you gotta do is copy this thing here. I mean, like I said, you can copy and paste this, you know, um, well, you know, I might do that at the end if you want to show, you know, show you how to do like in the GUI stuff. But in this case, we're just going to copy the URL and then we're going to go and we actually have to create a new folder too, right? So we do uh, mkdir. Um, we're going to create, uh, actually we do pv just for uh, people that are new to this so you can see what we're doing. So we're going to create scripts here, right, in our uh, home directory. Um, and then now we can go into that directory we do uh, scripts where was that one scripts so now we're in the directory uh, i already have this directory that's why if i do ls now i can see all my stuff but if you do ls you see nothing because you have nothing in there yet but what you want to do is use wget and we're going to paste that url that we just copy right and now it's going to download that little script for us so we don't have to do a copy and paste or anything And you can see if I do ls uh, la for list all files, uh, where was that one? Right, see this one here, right? This is our bin merge, right? Um, now it's not executable. It's just plain text right now. And you need to make it executable. So you can see what I mean by that is that um, all these other files I have in here, you see it has a little x next to it and stuff like that, right? X x and stuff like that um this one's for different groups but the main thing for that is that it will allow you to run the program because right now it's just plain text it's not really uh you can't really do anything with it you can't run or anything i mean you can you can view it on your text editor but that's all you can do so you gotta make it executable you see it has like these little x next to it um all my other scripts they have like executable right so that's what we do we're gonna change it the permission so you can actually show the little x next to it right how you do that you do chmod plus x and then that file bin merge right or whatever other file you have in there and that's it now if we do uh lsla again 
you can see that our file, uh, what was that bin merge? Right now has the little X, uh, for each group. And that means we can actually execute it now. So if I do, uh, dot slash, if I can see over my mic here, bin merge, right? And then you can do like dash H for help. See, now it works. Now, what you want to do is make this global. Otherwise, you would have to use like, uh, for example, if you're on a different uh, a directory. Right now, we're in a what directory? In we're in a uh, we're in this directory here. If you were in a different directory, you would have to use like the whole name of it. Like, uh, for example, uh, home username dot scripts slash bin merge this is how you would use it you know um because you have to use the like the the absolute path to it and that's really not what people want to do we really want to just use this portion only right and we have to set that up and how would you do that uh so like in the beginning um you know we do echo zero dot dollar sign zero and this is our shell. If you're using, um, what was that? The other one what was it? Uh, if you're using Z shell, it will be uh, something else, but we're using the bash shell here. All right. And the bash shell, you want to use uh, nano. This is our text editor. And in this file, which uh, the bash RC, I haven't used it in a while. <coughs> In the bash RC, uh, anywhere in here, I mean, usually you put in the top, but uh, for example, in the bottom here, right? Uh, and, and to use nano, all you gotta do is use your arrow keys, you know, page up, page down, whatever it is. It's just like a plain text editor. So you can use like, so this is the code you wanna use here, right? This little line here. So we say if this directory in our home folder exists, that's the directory we just created. So home slash dot scripts, right? It's gonna load into our path. And this path variable here, it will tell uh, our shell that these ones are, um, you know, are, are the scripts or whatever it is, uh, binaries that we want to load up. And um, it will load up uh, by default. So you don't have to like type out the full path to everything. Anyways, um, all you gotta do is save it now, right? You do yes or no, or well, no, actually we do yes, um, but I already have this, um, you know, set up already, so. Anyways, that's what you gotta do with that uh, code in there. Just put that into your bash RC. I'll show, you to do, I'll show you how to do that in the GUI if you're not comfortable with the command line uh, later on, right? But that's what you gotta do in there, and you might have to reload your shell. You can just type in bash again, and it'll reload it. And see, this is all our um, path variable here. I got too much, but um, that's what we can do in here. If you do echo path, this is all your, um, you know, your directory that will be loaded up. Yours might be shorter than mine, but I have too many stuff in here. And that's why it's all loaded in here. Anyways, uh, basically, that's um, all you got to do. And now you can go anywhere. You can go like your, your downloads folder. You know, you can be... Uh, uh, what's my Zanpakuto? What's that? Right, you can be any directory, and you can still call that bin merge command um, that we did. Right, look at this. You can call it anywhere now, and you can do like uh, what was that? Let me give you an example. And basically, what it's doing is that if you do, I think it's which right, bin merge. Yeah, see, if you do which bin merge, um, it'll tell you where it's located at right so instead of using this this whole path like we normally have to do you can actually just use the uh, single name of it you know this bin merge anywhere so that's the reason why we did all that step is because we don't want to like type out the full path of where it's located at we just want to call it by his name kind of like you know in, in your phone you have a bunch of contacts and you have a bunch of numbers in there you're not going to remember all the numbers, but you do remember their name, right? 
So that's the reason, you know. Uh, we want to set it up so we can just call it by their name, not like all these, you know, numbers or, you know, where they're located at and all that. So that's what we're doing. We're, we're trying to set it up so it can actually be used by just their, their name, not, uh, you know, anything more complicated than that. So that's the reason for uh, setting up the path variable, right? And you can do this with uh, any other scripts I talked about, really. So, for example, my um, unsplit bin queue here, right? Do the same thing. You know, you, you um, go to my show notes. Where's my show notes? Right. I got a bunch of scripts in here or whatever. Some of them are not scripts. Some of them are just notes. <laughs> but uh, you can see here, this is a bash uh, script here, right? And uh, basically, you just, you know, do the raw thing again. Copy this thing. Go into your um, script folder. You can do a CD. You know the script folder we create in the beginning, and then you do wget again. Boom, and now we have our um, script, right? So we have to do chmod again. Chmod plus x. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. Unsplit bin q. There you go. Boom. Right now we uh, can do ls la. And where's the unsplit one here? Right, so this one here, look at that, right? That's the one we just downloaded, and now it's executable. That means we can use it. So you can do, um, so you're gonna be in any directory. So right now we're in this directory, but we can go to our home folder, right? This is our home folder. And you can see that I can still use that unsplit. Um, what was that, bin q? I can do a dash h, and look at that. That's what we're going to use anywhere now. Um, hopefully you understood that. Uh, what else we want to do? Okay, if you want to do this in the GUI instead of the terminal like we just did, I'll show you that too. Why not? <laughs> so, uh, open up a uh, file manager. Was it? I think I got... I haven't used Dunar in a while, so if I remember how to use this. Oh, yeah, in here... You hit, uh, well, you do, uh, what's that? Control H. I think on KD is like out period or something like that. So you can see it, it toggles between your hidden files, which is all these dot files, right? So you can do Control H to toggle between them. And you should already have, um, what is it? Uh, actually, if you want to create a new folder, hopefully you know how to do this. Create new folder, right click, right? Right click, create new folder. And you call it dot scripts and then create which we already have one so we can go to um, dot scripts here or that one there you go this one here dot scripts right this is all our scripts and basically if you want to do this in the gy real simple um actually this is delete those two right bin merge we'll delete this uh what is that one Move the trash. There you go. I haven't used the GUI um, file manager in a while, so that's why I'm slow at this right now. But uh, um, let's go back to what was that one? All right, this is the bin merge one here, right? So if you want to do it this way, look at old school, copy paste, copy, and then uh, we'll do a new document. All right, uh, we'll say empty file. We'll call this bin merge. All right, so this file here, uh, we can open this, right? With our text editor. And this is a mouse pad here. And we just control V to paste it. And this is our code, right? I made it big. Let me see here, make it smaller. Where's the one? Uh, we go 32, okay. All right, so this is, uh, how you would normally do it if you want to do this in a straight GUI, like no terminal stuff, and then you do uh, save. All right. Hopefully you know how to do like GUI stuff. And then if you want to do that chmod command, you do right click, go to properties, and um, there should be a check box here. There you go. All right in permissions. So this is the chmod command that we did in the command line. This is what you got to do in the GUI. That's it. All right allow this file to run as a program 
close, right? That's it for that. <clears throat> now, as far as that um, bash RC um, thing that we did, uh, you can do that in here too. <clears throat> How you do that in the GUI here? Um, let's go back, and at the bottom here, uh, it should be a dot bash RC somewhere. Where is that one? There you go. This one here. All right. We'll open that. We'll go all the way in the bottom or anywhere you want. And then you add in this line. Hopefully you know how to type. Right? You add in this line. Right? Right here. This is the line here. I'll post you in the description. But all you gotta do that and you hit save. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. And uh, you know, now you bust out a uh, of course you need to save it. I'm not gonna save for this one, but uh because I already have it. Uh, so that's how you do that and then you bust out a new terminal um, which I already have a terminal right so you open a new terminal to reload it otherwise if you want to load it um, in your current shell then you just type in bash again and it'll reload the you know the changes that you made in your bash RC and then you can use it anywhere so you do bin merge now hopefully it works bin merge right dash H and that's it. Uh, now, if they have like dependencies, like you know that Python thing, um, then you do need Python. You can do like py and just hit tab. Actually, pyh. Uh, what's that? Th. All right. So now I know I have Python because I can use you know tab here, and I can see all the programs I have. So Python three is there. Uh, stuff like that. You know, depends on what um, they're asking you in their uh, page. If you have dependencies for that or not then uh, you'll need to install those. Now, if it's a binary, um, uh, same thing. This this ones are binary here. Uh, let's say, for example, Q2 pops here. These ones are not scripts. They're just like single binaries. Uh, think of it like EXEs on Windows, right? So in this case, you have to download it. All right, and um, we'll download to our uh, download directory here. All right, so Q2 pops. So for example, how do you do that one? We go to our downloads folder. Uh, which one do we just download? Oh, Q2 pops, all right. So this one here, this is a binary. We can um, just right click on this. We'll do a cut and then we'll go back to our, um, let's say our scripts folder. All right, and then you can do uh, paste. And we have Q. And then basically you right click on this properties, permissions, allow, and that's it. And then now um, you might have to like reload your shell just because uh, there's a new file. All right. And we can do Q2 pops. There you go. And now I can use, you know, Q2 pops to do stuff uh, as a binary. So it can be a script, it can be binary. Um, it can be, you know, um, Bash script, Python script, uh, Perl script, whatever it is. It, it doesn't really matter. But uh, you do need to create like a new directory. And that's personally how I would do it. Uh, some people will put it in their root folder, um, which we're not going to explain in this video because if you're a new user, you're probably not going to do that anyways. Anyways, uh, hopefully you know how to do it in the GUI and the terminal however you want to do it it's up to you all right that'll be it for this one